Hello guys. This is how our ESP8266 looks, looks like. Uh, it has got uh, antenna on this module. This is a module mount antenna we can say. We don't have any external antenna to be connected to this module. And uh, there are some connection which I will be explaining to you later. Now let us uh, have a look at the pin configuration of this ESP8266. It has got uh, 8 pins, uh, not necessarily, there are various uh, modules available having different number of pins. Uh, here you can see that uh, we have leftmost uh, UTXD, then ground, then chip power down, GPIO2, reset, GPIO00, VCC and URXD. This UTXD and URXD are used to communicate with this module using any any microcontroller or serial module then uh, we have vcc and ground vcc is should be limited to 3.6 as mentioned in data sheet then we won't be using this gpio2 reset or gpio00 pins but one thing that uh, we'll be using is uh, chpd that is chip power down as this module is power hungry we have to to have a good battery life we need to power it down whenever necessary this will be our circuit uh, which will be connecting and uh, show, i will be showing the demo on that uh, as you can see this uh, utxd is connected to this utxd pin is connected to the rx pin of our any usb serial model whichever you have you can use that then our urxd is connected to tx pin then yeah as i mentioned in the supply should not go about uh, 3.6 volt we have connected a 3.3 volt uh, low dropout regulator which gives it which gives our esp8266 supply then ground should be i mean everybody's ground should be connected to the same node then as i mentioned this power down is connected to vcc that is as the chpd pin is active low uh, we won't be using it so this will be our uh, configuration and uh, we will see this in action this is how our system will look like after wiring it up uh, here you can see this <coughs> there are three major components uh, this one is our serial to usb converter then this is our 3.3 volt regulator and this is our ESP8266 uh, this black cable goes to a wall mount adapter here I mentioned in uh, circuit diagram that uh, we should use a low dropout uh, this one is uh, actually a breadboard supply model which I had so I used it so yeah these are the major components and you should connect it as I mentioned in the circuit diagram image. Now let's start one of our serial monitor and see things in action. So I just opened a GTK term serial monitor and let's see what our ESP gives us. So okay, we'll just configure it for our port. Uh, port is and uh, you can you have to set this port at the uh, where we, we have to be precise at that uh, different ESPs come with uh, different uh, port at uh, mine come with uh, 9600 so I will set that and but uh, in net uh, there is a mention of this um, 57600 and 115200 board rates also so I will set to that and yeah keep your database to 8 stop bits to 1 no flow control, no parity and just press OK. Now <coughs> as soon as you turn on your ESP8266 you should get this ready. After that only you are ready to go. Now mm, we should now we shall send the send different AT commands and see the output. <coughs> One problem with this GTK term is uh, I don't know how to set the uh, 
and uh, every at command uh, at the end you need to send carriage return and line feed that is 0d and 0a in ascii mm, but uh, uh, for carriage return we have enter but line feed we don't have any key on the board so i will code every at command in hex and send through that so i'll just do a send hex command and you should you, you can see there is a line here so uh, let us uh, send uh, some basic commands and see things for that i'll just go and pop up uh, at commands i just coded a uh, few at commands in hex so that it's uh, easy when we go through them so these are our at commands that will be testing and i have coded them in hex <coughs> so i will be sending them one by one and we'll see so we'll go to this terminal and I, as i need to send at i will just send at reset okay so i will copy this part and then i will just paste it here and press enter as soon as i press enter it says at reset okay and it resets our module next we will send uh, what should we send we shall send we shall send mm, yeah there is one thing very good about this uh, esp826 that it can operate in different modes that is uh, if the mode is one then it acts as a station uh, if your mode is equal to two, then uh, it acts as an access point. So let us, and this is this question mark at the in the sixth line, eighty plus uh, CW mode. There's a question mark. It's a query to our device, and it will respond in which mode it is. So let us see in which mode our ESP eight two six six is. <coughs> just copy this, and yeah, I'll just center. It says one, so it's in station mode. Let's change its mode to access point. So we'll change its mode to access point. I'll just copy this and this press here and enter. Now its mode is changed to two. Now if we again send a query, it should respond with two. So let's do that. Copy this. <coughs> yeah, see. It says it's in mode two, but for our demo, I require it to be in mode one. So let's change its mode to one again. Where are you? Yeah, we'll change it mode to one again. Enter. Yeah, now it is in station mode and. Now there are uh, some good uh, AT commands that we shall see. Let us see the this one. AT plus CWLAP stands for list of access points. Uh, we shall see uh, different access points that are available in my vicinity. Okay, so I'll just copy that. and put it in our serial terminal it will take some time and give oh we have two access point named poop and tatha and this things which are saying minus 92 and minus 18 are called rssi received signal strength indicators and its unit is dbm so poop is saying 90 minus 92 dbm and this is as a minus 89 dBm. Uh, now I just I will just turn on my uh, Wi-Fi hotspot and again we'll ask for this access point and we shall see what we get. This time we should get one more. Yeah, <laughs> we have got this IoT is our access point and having a very good RSSI because it's just beside this laptop. 
again let us see what else do we have at access points see who oh, biodata tha again we shall see i think because it's changing so let us see okay then <coughs> uh, this one is of our concern and we shall connect to that for connecting to a access point users have to send its uh this command it will join access point iot is the ssid of our access point and this is password so we shall send that i'll just copy that and put it in the terminal go to the center it will just take some time it should give us okay so this is how you connect to an access point and use it esp8266 the rest is for you to explore Thank you for watching this